Hello everyone, welcome to Crying Comedy Party Channel. I am Kailin from Taiwan. Today I would like to talk to you about an interesting topic. Why Xi Jinping's military reform has become like shooting himself in the foot. Since taking office in 2013, Xi Jinping has been purging party. Political and military departments of officials left behind by the previous dynasty. In the name of fighting corruption and cultivating officials loyal to him. In 2014, he conducted a large-scale corruption investigation against the military and eliminated Zhu Kaihao, former vice chairman of the Central Military Commission of the Communist Party of China, CMC, and Gur Baxiang, who was known as the military tiger, the message of reform. He was in December 31st of the same year will be the Army's second artillery unit. Converted into the rocket force, in charge of China's nuclear weapons, intercontinental missiles, long-range cruise missiles, and so on. Xi Jinping even said the rocket force is the core of the country's strategic deterrence, is the country's status as a great power of the strategic support, is the maintenance of national security, is an important cornerstone. The New York Times even the establishment of the rocket force as one of the highest achievements of Xi Jinping's military reform. Before China's military structure has always been a continental militarism, although there is also the Navy, the Air Force, missiles, but most of the commanders of the seven major military regions of the Army, the lack of joint warfare capabilities. As early as 2003 after the Iraq War, the People's Liberation Army of the U.S., Three forces in the joint war capability to be greatly after the Iraq War in 2003. The plot was shocked by the ability of the three armed forces to conduct joint operations and started research on joint operations. In addition to a large number of translations of U.S. military writings and related theses, the plot invested huge sums of money in information technology and mechanization and found that the actual drills and exercises were conducted. Although it was understood that modern wars require the land, sea, air, and rocket forces to conduct joint operations in order to achieve the victory of the maximum results at the minimum cost. But under the constraints of militarism, the Navy, Air Force, and the rocket forces could not coordinate and the plow was not able to achieve any success in the battle. Xi Jinping changed the original seven military regions into five major war zones, east, south, west, north, and central to dilute the army's dominant role. The general staff department was changed to the joint staff, department of the Central Military Commission, which is responsible for operational command. And the intelligence business was moved to the strategic support forces which is a simplification of the functions and a drastic reduction of the powers, however, as a totalitarian dictatorship. It is most afraid of military corruption and mutiny. So the system also inherits the Soviet system of co-management between the chief officer and the political commissar. The general political department is responsible for supervising the execution of the general staff department and the General Equipment Department coordinates the procurement of military affairs. From Xi Jinping's point of view, he may think that his military reforms are simply the work of a once-in-the-century military genius. Who could not have imagined that? Combining the systemic advantages of the US and Soviet Union's two nuclear-armed powers into one. In one fell swoop, and the Pentagon could not have imagined that such a brilliant way of controlling so many military generals, and that those military theories in the USS are, are too outdated to learn the theory of war. Of the new era, compared with his great talent and strategy, compared to his genius, the American and Soviet generals were useless, but can the truth be as good as he thinks? All of Xi Jinping's reforms, such as the Belt and Road, Dynamic Zero, Zhongan New Area, etc., have one thing in common. They are all very good imagination. But they all end up being very miserable. And this military reform is no exception. 
The U.S. military's joint warfare system has been modified bit by bit. By the experience of decades of uninterrupted participation in wars around the world. And Xi Jinping thought that. Copying directly from a Chinese-made imitation would produce results. It's impossible. The plot hasn't been in a war for decades. And senior generals with war experience have either died of old age or been resigned. 11 Jinping's 10-year campaign against corruption in the military still can't eliminate the problem of corruption in the military. And this self-proclaimed clever U.S. Russian military reform has made corruption even worse. There are two ways for a political commissar. To move up in the military, the first is to report corruption. Whether it's planting incriminating evidence or actually hammering the officer in charge, this will enhance the political commissar's resume. And the second is to go along with the officer in charge, covering up the corruption and sharing the benefits. And the officer in charge will be promoted along with him. And most plow political commissars choose the second way. The first way is to report corruption. Although the first way to report can get the attention of the highest level of leadership, but the risk is also big. Push down a main officer may also be the main officer of other colleagues. To retaliate, choose the second together with the dirt all. There is also a risk, but can be a long stream of water. The direction of joint cooperation and war produced more high-tech armaments demand, especially in the sensitive armaments such as with the Ukrainian purchase of the aircraft carrier. First pretending to buy it to convert the aircraft carrier was purchased from Ukraine, first pretending to be a passenger ship, and then converted into the Lyoning, China's first aircraft carrier. In the middle of the process, even a fixer was needed to get through the process. And there was also a lot of room for the plot generals to get in and out of the ship. And in the end, even the chief designers of the Lyoning and the Shanting were both reported to be in prison because of corruption. And the corruption in the military in the Xi Jinping era is much more severe than that in the era of Jiang Zemin and Hu Jintao. Last October, the U.S. Air Force University released more than 250 pages of detailed information about China's rocket forces. The Chinese Foreign Ministry tried to spread rumors that the information was untrue. And on the surface, the plot didn't react to this information about the rocket forces. But in reality, it was already being investigated under the table. And on June 25th of this year, China's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Kin Gang, appeared for the last time and then confirmed that he was dismissed from his post. And the next day, the commander of the rocket forces, Li Yichao, was taken away during a meeting. The next day, the commander of the rocket force, Li Yichao, was taken away during a meeting on July 4th. The deputy commander of the rocket force, Wu Guohua, was rumored to have died an unnatural death. The political commissar, Zhu Jumbo, was dismissed, and the deputy commanders, Liu Guanbin and Zhang Zhanzhang, were taken away for investigation, and the entire rocket force was cleansed. Later, even the Minister of National Defense, Li Shengfu, was dismissed on the grounds of corruption while serving in the General Armament Department and is currently under investigation. The reason behind this unprecedented earthquake at the top level of the military may not simply be corruption. Internet rumors that Xi Jinping received a secret report led by the commander of the rocket force, Li Yuqiao, and dozens of CCP generals to cooperate with the plan to use missiles to assassinate Xi Jinping in South Africa to participate in the BRICS summit. When he returned to pass through the airspace of Guangxi, the plan was leaked by Li Yuqiao's secretary, Zi Mingsheng. According to rumors that Zi Mingsheng is also the CCP's secret agent of the State Security Bureau. The plot of this news like a movie, if placed in other times, may be felt that too exaggerated. But compared to the BRICS summit in South Africa after being awarded a medal, by the President of South Africa, the sudden absence of the economic minister.
To speak at the expert meeting, the Minister of Economic Affairs to take the place of the experts. This movie-like scenario would have been exaggerated at any other time. But compared to the unusual behavior of Xi Jinping's sudden absence from the expert meeting after being awarded a medal by the South African president at the BRICS summit in South Africa, where he was replaced by the Minister of Economic Affairs, the Chinese officials have not explained this. And the fact that Xi Jinping did not take a flight back to Beijing on his return trip from South Africa, but instead made a sudden turn to Xinjiang to visit the country, avoiding the airspace in western Guangxi, and then took a high-speed rail back to Beijing, instead of taking a plane. The actual actions that took place have added a lot of truth to the rumor that Xi Jinping's security scale is really expanding year by year. In the past, all the residents on the routes that he passed by were forbidden to open the windows or go out of the house. And now the area of control is expanding and the time of control is also lengthening. Which also illustrates a truth. The more totalitarian the dictatorship, the more afraid of the darkness. The more the dictatorship is of the darkness, the more authoritarian a dictator is. The more afraid he is of being assassinated. This is the end of today's program. Welcome to leave comments about your views. And please subscribe to our channel to support us to do better programs. Thank you. The specter of totalitarian communism marks in the dark corners of the surrounding area. When conflicts arise in society, it provokes class struggle and uses populism to destroy democracy. We hope you can subscribe, like, and bookmark our channel. Support us to make more interesting videos to mark the totalitarian government that oppresses the people. See you soon, amen. See you soon, amen.